In this lesson, we will finish our path animation. Jumping back into the scene, we saw that in the previous lesson we had a bit of a problem as we started to change the shape of our path. The object that we constrained was not following that change. If that ever happens, keep in mind that that's a rare bug in Maya. It hardly ever happens, but if it does, all you need to do is reopen your file. So watch this. If I were to go ahead and start making the same changes that were made in the previous lesson, I'll grab a few CVs at the end of the spline, and I'll start to kind of pull them up. You'll notice that the constraint object will now follow. How cool. So let's say we go ahead and have some fun here. We can have the robot arc up at the very end. So I'll start to adjust a few points along the spline in order to make sure that that arc looks natural. And then what we'll do to finish up is we'll retime the animation so it looks a bit more interesting. Right now our timing is, how should I say, boring. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and fix that. So I'll go ahead and adjust just a few more points and then we'll go ahead and test out the animation afterwards. Okay, great. I'll press F8 to go back to object mode. Let's go ahead and start back from the beginning and we'll hit play. Alright, fantastic. Now, let's say we go ahead and adjust our timing to finish up. We'll grab the constrained object and we'll move to our graph editor. Sweet, so from there, take a look. A majority of our transform channels, that's translation and rotation, they have been tied to the motion path system. The great thing about that is, we only need to tweak one function curve. How cool. Now let's say we do this. We'll have the animation start a little bit slower, but then we'll have him pick up speed at the end. It's almost like he's searching for something, doesn't find it, and he takes off. If we were to go ahead and grab our function curve, we can go ahead and then use the insert key tool to add a key non-destructively, meaning it will not change the shape of the function curve. So what I'll do is go to about frame, let's say 40, and we'll middle click to create a keyframe. Once we've done that, we can then go ahead and grab our move tool. Let's hold down shift and we'll drag down with the middle mouse button to lower this value or lower the percentage. So right now, we're at about 12%. If we were to have a look at the value stat. And you'll notice how that's going to change the animation. You can see how he's going to move a bit slower at the beginning. But then he'll really start to take off towards the end. But we can improve this. Let's go ahead and start to adjust this key on 40. I might go ahead and drag it up just a bit. And then we can adjust our tangency. Now let's say we go ahead and take our last key. We'll take the end tangent and we'll drop that. Again, we want him to pick up speed at the end. The way it currently was, you saw that it was going to start causing the animation to slow down when we reach that last key. So let's go ahead and fix that. Great, let's go ahead and see what happens in the animation now. So when we hit play, you'll notice that it will move slowly and then it will start to gradually pick up speed. How cool. Then if you wanted to, you can go ahead and take that last key and you can speed it up. Let's go ahead and select it. Right now it's on 100, but we can move this to let's say frame 70. So now he's really going to zip to the end. Let's have a look. We'll start back at the beginning. Let's minimize the graph editor and hit play. Super cool. I kind of like that speed. It's a bit more exciting. Fantastic. So that's a look at how we can polish an animation that has been done with Maya's path constraint tool, or what is known as a motion path. So we have a lot of freedom here. We can animate the rotation of the object by using our twist parameters. We could also change the timing in the graph editor. And then if we wanted to, we can change the shape of our path to create something that is very entertaining to watch in the end.